Bhutan is a small landlocked country in the Himalayas. It is surrounded by the two most populous countries in the world, China to its north and India to its south. Being a least developed country, Bhutan is mainly dependent on agriculture for its economic development. Bhutan is very vulnerable to climate change, uh, especially because of two unique circumstances that we are in. Number one, we are landlocked. We are a landlocked country. And number two, we are a mountainous country. Being landlocked means that we have to bear the consequences of the greenhouse gases that uh, are emitted by our neighbors, all our neighbors. And uh, this makes Bhutan very vulnerable. Uh, the second reason we are very vulnerable is because we are a mountainous uh, ecosystem. And as a mountainous ecosystem, we are a fragile mountainous ecosystem. Uh, we have to uh, contend with the risks of GLOF, glacial lake outbursts, and uh, that come with retreating, receding glaciers. Uh, we have to deal with uh, water uh, security issues. Uh, we have to deal with flash floods and landslides. More than 60% of our people live off agriculture. Our main industry is the generation of hydropower, which is really uh, depends largely on the availability of sustainable uh, water. Global warming is a, is a global problem that requires a global solution and uh, shouldn't be between the rich world versus the poor. Uh, all of us must come together and all of us must do, uh, play our respective roles to fight climate change and to limit global warming. Our constitution requires that by law we must maintain at least 60% of our land under forest cover. In reality today it's more than 70%, it's about 70.5%. Uh, and it is growing. 52% uh, of our land cover is protected as national parks and wildlife sanctuaries. So uh, obviously we are committed to not just maintaining as much of our country under forest cover, but ensuring that as much of it uh, is pristine. As far as transport is concerned, most of our greenhouse gases are emitted uh, in this sector and so uh, we are committed to improving the sustainability of transport by using low carbon uh, technologies. And then uh, we have hydropower. In the area of hydropower, Bhutan has been blessed by vast potential. It is our responsibility to tap that potential so that we in Bhutan use clean and renewable energy. But more than that, we are able to export clean hydropower to uh, our neighbors. And in so doing, we will be offsetting millions of tons of carbon dioxide, which they would otherwise have to use. Bhutan's intended nationally determined contributions are both ambitious and they are clear. We will be carbon neutral for all time to come. And to achieve that, uh, we are committed to maintaining at least 60% of our land under forest cover and to ensure that our economy is clean and green. For Bhutan, we would like to see at least four concrete outcomes. Now, number one, we would like to see a legally binding agreement that limits global warming to a minimum of two degrees. And ideally, we should limit global warming to 1.5 degrees. That's because we cannot afford the adaptation measures that will be required uh, with a two degree increase in global temperatures. The rich world can afford that. Number two, we would like to see all parties, all countries make ambitious and legally binding commitments to reduce greenhouse gases. Number three, we would like to see a support mechanism built into that agreement to support uh, the LDCs and vulnerable com uh, countries meet their commitments. And number four, we need to have a review mechanism, a mechanism that is transparent to ensure that uh, the commitments of countries are achieved.